Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And in the last episode, we talked about, you know, new cast members that have been added to the IMDb. And some people are like, hey, you know, why do you do that? You know, it's not confirmed just because someone's listed on there. And that's absolutely true. It doesn't mean just because they're listed on IMDb. It's, you know, we're trying to, we're connecting dots here. We're trying to dig. I'm trying to give you guys some information on this movie to some degree. And then some of you also did point out the IMDb page and said, hey, remember in season one when you did connect some dots and you're able to you know pinpoint things and and you did some research and you found out that you know Melora Walters was in the movie and you found out you know some other things so uh, that's all true and I said you know that's a good idea let's go back and make a couple videos about this and you go to the IMDb page so we did in the last episode and we connected some dots about Sean Delaney maybe playing a SFPD officer thanks to an image on his Instagram um, and then Alfredo Tavares and then also Obi Matthews were also uh, people we talked about and then the potential of Stephen Graham playing uh, you know uh, Detective uh, Patrick Mulligan who in the comics becomes Toxin but it'll be interesting to see what they do with him in the movie if he's playing that character we don't know yet uh, so none of it's confirmed but it was just a fun video so go check it out if you haven't seen it already it went up yesterday uh, but today we're going to talk about a couple other casting choices uh, and some pictures that came along with it. So one recurring person or returning person is going to be Reed Scott, who played Dan, uh, Dr. Dan, in the first movie. And he was like Michelle Williams' love interest. And it looks like he's coming back. And he even posted this uh, picture here on his Instagram to confirm it, that he was uh, there to film you know, on the, f the first shot of the day for that day in you know December, I think it was, for Venom 2 that he was you know there to shoot for. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, that image is there, just confirming again from him himself that uh, he's in the movie and so I thought I saw him on IMDb and I was like all right let's wait for a picture this picture came out over a month ago so I don't know why where I was you know and I follow the guy too so I don't know why I didn't come across it and I think someone even maybe have sent it to me and I just forgot I mean like I said or, December was a very stressful month for me for work and same with January so now that things are you know dying down a little bit it's easier for me to go back and look at stuff so yeah if you send it to me and I and I blanked on it I apologize uh, but yeah when I saw that image I was like all right cool so he's definitely locked in and back so I don't have to just go off IMDB it's definitely you know they listed him and I think there was a couple articles that confirmed it too uh, at some point um, but then we also have a, a model named Amber Sienna uh, who I'm not familiar with at all uh, until now you know seeing seeing her in the IMDB and she's playing party guest that's what they list her as and uh, and some of you were saying hey what do you think about this party I think it was Venom Gaming or, or maybe it was Panhead or somebody was like writing me on uh, social media on Twitter or Instagram saying, hey, do you think this means that there's going to be a party where like carnage might show up and like, you know, kill people at the party or something? And I'm like, yeah, that's not bad speculation that it could potentially be that. I mean, we don't know what kind of party it is. It could be a very loud party with loud music. Um, which would be interesting because that's something we I asked for in the first Venom movie. I said, wouldn't it be cool if they fought in like a concert or at a, you know, at a party or an event where there's loud music and the speakers are so loud, you know, or one, maybe one of them knocks over and, you know, there's feedback and the sound, you know, irritates Carnage and the ear, the sound irritates Venom um, or maybe Venom, it irritates him and he notices it doesn't affect Carnage. So he's thinking, oh, I can use this as a weakness against him because it's a weakness against me. And then Carnage maybe is, is different and doesn't have that weakness. That would be a cool reveal. So yeah, I was, that's good theorizing. I, I like that. Whoever I was talking and I'm sorry, I don't remember right now but if, if you know it was you comment down below um and let me know more of your theories because that was a pretty good one i was like yeah it could be could be something like that or it could just be like a very quiet party with a bunch of snooty rich people <laughs> like we have we have no idea but uh, the reason why i think it might not be that kind of party is because there's also someone else in the cast here a comedian named ed keir and i think he's a comedian and filmmaker too um and he plays a small role and they list him as reveler and reveler is a term that actually means someone who's enjoying the party uh someone who's very loud and and you know and and basically uh making you you know garnering a lot of attention making a scene basically and uh, when i saw that i was like oh interesting he's playing a reveler and then they mention a party guest girl so they must have uh you know filmed this scene you know in london at somewhere again on a closed set and maybe it is going to have music there or maybe it is going to have a lot of noise um or maybe this it's a quiet party and this guy is just like really you know hamming it up and you know and making a scene or something at the party who knows you know we don't know maybe the symbiote possess him for t you know 10 seconds and it causes him to you know freak out and then and then it goes to somebody else i mean i don't know i'm just i'm throwing dumb ideas out there but at the same time i'm, I'm also trying to like you know get your minds working and hear your thoughts on it too uh because you know these two do connect i mean a reveler and a party guest could potentially be in the same scene together so again me just connecting dots um and and trying to 
paint a picture of what this could mean for the movie. And obviously I'm not here to speculate too, too much. And sometimes I will throw out dumb ideas because I don't want to actually guess it uh, to an extent. I, I do want, I don't, cause then I would be spoiling stuff. Um, but, uh, but still I thought this was fun. And since the ball kind of got rolling from one of you guys, I thought, yeah, this will be fun to talk about in a video. So Amber Sienna as a party guest and Ed Keir as a reveler. Uh, you know, what do you think that scene's going to be? What, you know, what kind of party do you think it's going to be? Uh, are you hoping for something loud because that'll affect the symbiotes? Or do you want something quiet and then you have the contrast of, you know, Venom and Carnage coming into the place to fight it? Or maybe it's a party where, you know, a bunch of people are, are celebrating the, the capture of uh, you know, Cletus Cassidy, maybe it's some victims of his that got away and they saw that he's, you know, like, you know, been arrested or, he, you know, or, you know, there's that rumor going around that he might be on death row or whatever. Um, so, you know, and I'm, I'm going to guess that's true because of the, where he was in the first movie, he was clearly isolated and all by himself and probably being prepped for, you know, uh, for a death row at some point. So, uh, so yeah, it would be interesting to see what they do, what kind of party this is, what that means to the story and, uh, and how they play it out. I mean, for all we know, it's just a, a, a really quick pointless scene. Maybe it's a party where just Michelle Williams and Dan go to, and there's no battle there. Um, that's for all we know, that's the case. So, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there about this. So those are my two videos. You know, we did the SFPD one, then we did this one. This is all I could really pull from, you know, from this, uh, IMDb update right now. Uh, I did see new cast members added, but nothing too major, nothing that would, you know, maybe lead us to connecting other dots to potential other storylines right now. Uh, but I did scour through it and, uh, and I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe while I'm resting on bed rest this week, maybe I'll check and see if there's any more updates on it and then uh, maybe make a video, uh, you know, in a week or two uh, regarding that. So uh, let me know again what you think of this and, uh, and if you want to see other kind of scenes, like I wanted a party scene in the first movie or a concert of some kind uh, in the first movie so that way we could have that interaction with sound and, and Venom, you know, uh, you know, it hurting Venom or hurting the other symbiote or Venom using it to hurt the other symbiote at the risk of hurting himself you know kind of like they did when the first appearance of carnage and savage genesis when he showed up and they sh they landed in a, a concert and spider-man betrays venom um once he sees that the sound is hurting carnage he lets it hurt venom also and uh, and that kind of breaks the you know venom's like i was about to trust you spider-man and then you double cross me and uh so maybe there's a scene like that in the movie I don't know. I'd love to see, uh, you know, hear your thoughts on it. So let me, you know, know those thoughts down below and we'll talk down there some more. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you after my surgery. Peace.